extra service. For the predefined services, Fiverr sets the text. For your custom extras, you can define the text. National Standard awarded to 11 Squadron and 31 Squadron of Bangladesh Air Force Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina optimistic about building fighter jets in the country in future. The Bangladeshi Amra, our Jutti Man, Tori Kotha Parbo. ODB Lords Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina's dynamic leadership in managing Corona pandemic and launching vaccination program successfully. BNP trying to destroy people's comfort for covering up its own failures, says Abad al -Hadi. Information Minister Dr. Hassan Mahmoud urges media personnel to be careful in disseminating news on Bangladesh-India relations. United States imposes sanctions on two more Myanmar generals for their involvement in the military coup. <clears throat> and Bangladesh cricket team departs Dhaka to play ODI and T20 series against New Zealand. Assalamu alaikum, I'm Lafiz Imtiazuddin, welcoming you to News at 10 on BTV, BTV World and BTV Chapter Gram Center. You just heard the headlines, we have details of those and other stories coming up. calling upon all to be patriots in building the nation. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina expressed her government's firm determination to turn Bangladesh into a developed and prosperous country by 2041. The Prime Minister was addressing the National Standard handing over ceremony of 11 and 21 squadrons of Bangladesh Air Force, BAF, and B. Sreshtamati Rahman Air Base in Joshua joining virtually from Gonobhavan this morning. On behalf of Prime Minister Sheikh Hasira, Chief of Air Staff, Air Chief Marshal Masihu Zaman Sheriabad, handed over the national flags to the commanders of the respective squadrons. In her speech, the Prime Minister said the government had started work of establishment of Bongo Buntu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman Aviation and Aerospace University and Aeronautical Centre to move up space research and take Bangladesh Air Force and civil aviation forward. Noting that BAF has now stands at a ret reputable position both at home and abroad, she said and hoped soon BAF will build fighter jets in Bangladesh and be able to defend the country's airspace with its own aircraft. মহাকাশ গবেষণা এবং দেশের বিমান বাহিনী ও বেসামরিক বিমানকে দ্রুত এগিয়ে নেওয়ার লক্ষ্যে আমরা প্রতিষ্ঠা করেছি বঙ্গবন্ধু শেখ মুজিবুর রহমান এভিয়েশন এন্ড অ্যারোস্পেস বিশ্ববিদ্যালয় সাথে সাথে আমরা অ্যারোনটিক্যাল সেন্টারও নির্মাণ করেছি আর আমাদের একটা আকাঙ্ক্ষা আছে যে বাংলাদেশেই আমরা আমাদের যুদ্ধ বিমান তৈরি করতে পারব কাজে এর উপর গবেষণা করা এবং আমাদের আকাশ সীমা রক্ষা আমরা নিজেরাও যেন করতে পারি সেইভাবে আমরা প্রস্তুতি দিচ্ছি যা আমাদের দেশের স্বাধীনতা সার্বভৌমত রক্ষা করা এবং প্রতিরক্ষার ক্ষেত্রে আরও কয়েক ধাপ এগিয়ে যাওয়ার পদক্ষেপ আমরা নিয়েছি ইনশাল্লাহ আমরা এ ব্যাপারে সফল অর্জন করব বলে আমি বিশ্বাস করি Chief of Air Staff Air Chief Marshal Masihur Zaman Shaniabad also delivered the note of thanks Asian Development Bank, ADB, highly praised Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina's dynamic leadership in managing the COVID-19 pandemic and rolling out a nationwide vaccination program successfully. Paying a courtesy call on Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina at Gonobhavan in the capital. ADB Country Director for Bangladesh, Manmohan Prakash, also said that they would provide Bangladesh with USD 940 million as assistance to purchase the COVID-19 vaccines. 
While briefing newsman, Assistant Press Secretary to the Prime Minister, M. M. Imrul Kais, said during the meeting, the Prime Minister informed the ADB country director that her government had been attaching priority to constructing dhaka burishal Potuakali paira rail line. Prakash appreciated the timely decision in opening up all the sectors of the economy in phases for which normalcy in Bangladesh economy and in the GDP growth and remittance had been restored. The ADB country director lauded the government measures relating to vaccinating the people, saying that Bangladesh was one of the three countries in the Asian region which is successfully conducting the COVID-19 vaccination campaign. Secretary to the Prime Minister's Office, Mohammed Tafazul Zemia, was present at the meeting. Greece is keen on opening up a permanent mission in Bangladesh. Newly appointed Ambassador of Greece to Bangladesh, Dinasios Akivetos, said this when he presented his credentials to President Mohammed Abdul Hamid at Bongkotism this afternoon. The envoy also said that necessary steps will be taken in this regard soon. On arrival at Bongo Bobun, the new envoy was given a guard of honor by a contingent of the President's Guard Regiment. Welcoming the new envoy, President Mohammed Abdul Hamid said the potential for expanding trade and investment between Bangladesh and Greece was very bright. The President stressed the need for opening up a Greek mission in Dhaka to take advantage of this potential. President Mohammed Abdul Hamid called upon the international community, including Greece, to take every effort in solving the Rohingya crisis. In a briefing, President's Press Secretary Zainul Abidin said that during the meeting, the new envoy of Greece had sought all-out cooperation of the President in discharging his duties. Foreign Secretary Masud bin Momen, President's Office Secretary Shampoud Burwa, Military Secretary Major General S.M. Salahuddin Islam and Secretary attached to the President's Office Mohammed Wahidul Islam Khan were present during the meeting. Road Transport and Bridges Minister Badul Qadir has said all have to move forward by facing the challenges of the future with lessons from Bongo Bundhu's honesty. Wadul Qadir said this as chief guest at the discussion on the occasion of the birth centenary of Bongo Bundhu organized by the Roads and Highways Department this morning. He joined the discussion through video conference from his official residence in the capital. Roads and Highways Department Chief Engineer Mohammed Abdul Sabu presided over the program while Chief Coordinator of the National Implementation Committee for the celebration of the birth centenary of Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, Dr. Kamal Abdul Nasir Choudhury, Roads and Highways Department and Secretary Mohammed Nusrul Islam, Prime Minister's Office Secretary Mohammed Tafazul Hosembia and High Officials of Roads and Highways Department were present. Bangabandhu Shabdhen Shunar Bangla Nilbane Asun Amna Uikya Baddha Hai Shekasina Arahat Ke Shukti Shali Kure Tuli Bangabandhu Shabna Pura Nen Sarati Hoi Dheer Jagaan Egiye Chale Takan Ekti Apa Shukti Desh Ke Pichhi Dya Sharadhan Te Lipta Hoi Se Sharadhan To Aabar Asur Hoi Chhe Deshe Bideshe Kutha Hai Boita Kutche Ki Chaktan Da Chal Chhe Tahar Khaba Ara Jana Na Hoi सामाजिक जो का जो मध्य में छोरा न होच्छे गुजार बाप प्रचार मिथ्याचार सरकार के टारगेट को तगिए तारा देश के टारगेट करे देशेर बाप मुट्टी नष्ट कुच्छे इधर अपचेष्टा संपर्क के साथो तो आन रहे चे जनगण सारो जंटो करी देर सकाल अपचेष्टा ही बैठ तो करे दे बे देशेर मानुर इन्शाल्ला Later, Awami League General Secretary Ubaid Lokade joined the Council of Chakmohur Upazila Awami League of Pabla through video conference. At the Council, Ubaid Lokade said BNP was trying to destroy the peace and relief of the people to cover up its own failures. He said people have rejected BNP's conspiracies about coronavirus as like its failures over movement and elections. 
পথে অপ্রতিরোধ্য অগ্রযাত্রা বিএনপি রাজনীতির উপর সংকটের যে কালো ছা ফেলেছে সেখান থেকে তাদের বেরিয়ে আসা কঠিন আন্দোলন এবং নির্বাচনে ব্যর্থতার মতো ভ্যাকসিন নিয়ে বিএনপি অপরাজনীতি করেছে কিন্তু জনগণে প্রত্যাখ্যান করে তারা এখন নিজেরাই ভ্যাকসিন নিচ্ছে দুর্নীতির গল্প তারা অনেক তৈরি করার অপচেষ্টা করেছিল তা হালে পানি পায়নি ভোটে এই সরকারকে হারানো যাবে না তাই চক্রান্তের মাধ্যমে শেখ হাসিনাকে হটানোর চক্রান্ত চলছে শেখ হাসিনার প্রতি জনমানুষের যে অবিচল আস্থা তা কোনো ষড়যন্ত্রই দুর্বল করতে পারবে না অপর দিকে জনগণ বিএনপির অপরাজনীতির ষোলো আনাই এখন বুঝে ফেলেছে Awami League organizing secretary SM Kamal Hussain, former state minister for home Shamsul Haq Tuku, Babna district Awami League general secretary Golam Faru Prince and Chatmohor Upazila Awami League leaders also spoke at the council. Information minister Dr. Hassan Mahmoud has called upon media personnel to remain careful while publishing news on relations between Bangladesh and India. He made the call at a, at a seminar at the National Press Club today titled Bongo Bundhu, Bangladesh-India Relations, organized by Indian Media Correspondents Association Bangladesh, IMCAB. Dr. Hassan Mahmoud said leaders of BNP were taking coronavirus vaccine shots secretly, even though they speak against the jab in public. বঙ্গবন্ধু ইন্দিরা গান্ধী ভারত বাংলাদেশ সম্পর্ক যে গভীরে প্রথিত করেছে সেটির উপর ভিত্তি করেই কিন্তু আজকে আমাদের সম্পর্ক আরো গভীরতর হয়েছে আজকে ভারত বাংলাদেশ সম্পর্ক মাননীয় প্রধানমন্ত্রী জননেত্রী শেখ হাসিনা এবং ভারতের মান্ডবর প্রধানমন্ত্রী শ্রী নরেন্দ্র মোদীর নেতৃত্বে আরো গভীরে প্রথিত হয়েছে এবং আমাদের দেশের দুই দেশের মধ্যে যে আন্তঃসংযোগ সেটি ক্রমাগতভাবে বৃদ্ধি পাচ্ছে আমাদেরকে সংবাদ পরিবেশন করার ক্ষেত্রে এমন কোনো সংবাদ যাতে পরিবেশিত না হয় এখন এমন কোনো ভুল অসত্য কিংবা তথ্য নির্ভর নয় এমন কোনো সংবাদ পরিবেশিত যাতে না হয় যেটি দুই দেশের মধ্যে সম্পর্ক ক্ষেত্রে বিরূপ প্রভাব ফেলতে পারে এবং আমাদের দেশে এই টিকারই কি বিরূপ প্রচারণা চালানো হয়েছিল আপনারা জানেন যারা বিরূপ প্রচারণা চালিয়েছিল তারা এখন টিকা গ্রহণ করছে এবং অন্যদেরকেও টিকা গ্রহণ করার জন্য অনুরোধ জানাচ্ছে আমি তাদেরকে অভিনন্দন জানাই ধন্যবাদ জানাই আমি বিভিন্ন সংবাদ মাধ্যমে দেখতে পেলাম বিএনপির কোনো কোনো নেতা গোপনেও টিকা নিয়েছে আমি অনুরোধ জানাবো এভাবে লুকিয়ে লুকিয়ে চুরি করে টিকা না নিয়ে আপনারা জনসমক্ষে এসে টিকা নিন আমরা আপনাদেরও স্বাস্থ্য সুরক্ষা নিশ্চিত করার জন্য বদ্ধ পরিকর presided over the program. Indian High Commissioner to Bangladesh, Vikram Doraswamy, spoke at the seminar as guest to Voda. I wish you all here much success in, your, in the work ahead. There is a long road ahead for both of us, both countries, to make sure that our friendship is continuously reached to the level that Bhagavadu wanted it to be. When we reach that level, we know we will have achieved the objectives and the goals for which Bhagavandhu and the people of Bangladesh and the people of India spent so much effort and shed so much blood. Senior journalist Iqbal Subhan Chaudhary, National Press Club President Farida Yasmin, former BFUJ President Munzurul Hassan Bulbul and Taka Union of Journalists President Kuddus Afrad, among others, were present. Valiant freedom fighter and senior journalist Harun Habib presented the keynote speech while General Secretary of the organization Rafiqul Islam Shobuj came up with the speech of congratulations. Renowned columnist, researcher and writer Sir Abul Maksud has passed away. He breathes his last at a hospital in Dhaka today. Inna lillahi wa inna ilahi rajirun. He was 74. According to family sources, Soyod Abul Maksud felt respiratory problems and was taken to the hospital where 
Later, he died. Sir Abul Maksud was awarded the Bangla Academy Award in 1995 for his contribution to Bengali literature. Abul Maksud was involved in various social works like Nirapod Shorukchai, environment and ensuring citizens' facilities right up until his death. Meanwhile, President Muhammad Abdul Hamid and Prime Minister Sheikh Hasira have expressed shock at the sudden death of the eminent columnist Abul Maksud. They prayed for the salvation of the departed soul and conveyed deep sympathies to the members of the bereaved family. We now have a break. We'll be back right after this break. Stay with us. Welcome back to BCV News. Now, international news. The United States will keep up firm action against Myanmar authorities in violently cracking down on opponents of a military coup, Secretary of State Antony Blinken said on Sunday, after two protesters were shot dead over the weekend. Myanmar's security forces have been unable to stop more than two weeks of daily protests and a civil disobedience movement demanding the reversal of the 1st of February coup and the release of detained elected leader and Nobel laureate Aung San Suu Kyi. The United States will continue to take firm action against those who perpetrate violence against the people of Burma as they demand the restoration of their democratically elected government. Iran and the global nuclear watchdog IAEA have agreed to temporary measures to offset Iran's decision to restrict access to inspectors. These would enable the agency to retain the necessary degree of monitoring and verification work, IAEA Chief Rafael Grossi said, without going into detail. The move comes ahead of a deadline set by Iran to stop intrusive checks of sites unless U.S. sanctions were lifted. Tensions have soared since the U.S. left a nuclear deal with Iran in 2018. Then President Donald Trump reimposed crippling economic sanctions to force Iran to renegotiate the accord. Iran refused and retaliated by rolling back a number of key commitments. COVID-19 global death toll crosses 24,87,000 as more than 6,522 people died yesterday around the world. More than 11 crore, 23,74,000 have been infected globally and more than 8 crore, 78,84,000 people have recovered so far. The U.S. still the epicenter of the pandemic as now 2 crore 88,26,000 confirmed cases and 5,12,590 deaths. The country reported 1,374 deaths even yesterday. 18 COVID-19 patients died in the country in the last 24 hours, taking the death toll from the pandemic to 8,374. The recovery count rose to 4,92,887 after another 828 recovered during the period. A press release of the Directorate General of Health Services confirmed this today. The tally of infections rose to 5,44,116 with 399 new cases. Health and Family Welfare Minister Zahid Malik has in inoculation the second dose of COVID-19 vaccine is set to begin on the 7th of April. He told a meeting as a ministry in Dhaka today. The Health Minister said as per World Health Organization guidelines, the second dose of COVID-19 vaccines has to be administered after eight weeks of the first dose. Zahid Malik said a total of 36,46,970 people have so far been registered to receive COVID-19 vaccines as the vaccination campaign was launched on the 27th of January. As of February 22nd, the number of vaccine receivers is 23,8157.
The three-day blockchain Olympiad of Bangladesh will begin at Bangabundu International Conference Centre in Dhaka tomorrow. State Minister for Information and Communication Technology Junaid Ahmed Bolo briefed newsmen about the Olympiad at a press briefing at Computer Council Auditorium in Agargao in the capital today. He said a total of 40 teams consisting of university students would compete in the Olympiad with their new invention of technology and its effectiveness. Out of the total, the best 12 teams will take part in the International Blockchain Olympiad. The State Ministers and Computer Council had successfully introduced the apps of paying pension money of the retired primary school teachers in the country. He said the government was working to create interest about blockchain technology among the students and researchers. Rapid Action Battalion Rab has arrested Iqbal Hussein and convicted accused in uh, August 21st Grenada attack case. He was arrested from Diabari area of Uttura in the capital early today. <coughs> Rab Director General Jodhri Abdul Al Mamun was briefing in the Rab Media Center today. At the briefing, he said, that Iqbal was a fugitive in Malaysia and returned to Bangladesh in 2020 after being identified there as an illegal immigrant. Iqbal is from Jinaida and was involved in Chatro Dol during his academic life. The Director General said that he had himself thrown bombs onto the stage where Sheikh Hasina and other Awami League leaders were present. Iqbal fled Bangladesh in 2008 to escape arrest. And now news from the world of sport. Bangladesh cricket team left Dhaka today for New Zealand to play three ODIs and three T20s there. The Tigers started their journey for New Zealand carried by Singapore Airlines flight this afternoon. The first ODI of the New Zealand tour will take place on the 20th of March in Dunedin and the second will be played at the same venue on the 23rd of March. The last ODI will be held in Wellington on the 26th of March and the three T20s will be played on March 28, 30 and the 1st of April in Hamilton, Napier and Auckland respectively. And now before we end the news, let's take a look at what's making the headlines here. Yeah. National Standard awarded to 11 Squadron and 21 Squadron of Bangladesh Air Force. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina optimistic about building fighter jets in the country in future. ADB lords Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina's dynamic leadership in managing the corona pandemic and launching vaccination program successfully. BNP trying to destroy people's comfort for covering up its own failures, says Abayal Khadir. Information Minister Dr. Hassan Mahmoud urges media personnel to be careful in disseminating news on Bangladesh-India relations. United States imposes sanctions on two more Myanmar generals for their involvement in the military coup. And Bangladesh cricket team departs Taka to play ODI and T20 series against New Zealand. And that's all from the newsroom for the moment. Thank you for watching the news and we invite you to watch our news at 11.30. That's going to be in Bangla. Until then, for the half -based.